today in class 9th we will study thrust and pressure so what is thrust thrust is the force applied on the surface in the direction perpendicular to the surface means if we push something perpendicular to the surface then that is known as thrust so thrust is a type of force its unit is newton the si unit of thrust is newton <coughs> next is pressure so what is pressure the effect of thrust per unit area means the force acting on per unit area that is called pressure so the, uh, the formula of thrust pressure that is thrust upon area now what is the unit the si unit of pressure that is known as pascal symbol is this capital p is small a what is the value of 1 pascal in si system so 1 pascal is equal to 1 newton per meter square so learn this definition and the unit and the formula of pressure and thrust then next on what factors does the pressure depend so pressure depends on two factor force and area so number one force or thrust more force means more pressure less force means less pressure second is area the area on which the force or thrust is applied if the area is less then the pressure is more if the area is large then the pressure is less so pressure depends on two factors number one force number two area if the force increase pressure will increase if force decrease then the pressure will decrease if area increased then the pressure will decrease if area decreased then the pressure will increase now the same force produces less pressure if it acts on larger area but can produce less pressure if it acts on a smaller area means if we apply same force on larger area then it will create less pressure but if the same force applied on the smaller area it will create larger pressure next is liquid pressure how will you uh, obtain uh, the pressure inside a liquid so pressure inside the liquid depends on three factors so pressure inside the liquid depends on three factor number one this is this symbol is known as rho this symbol is known as rho rho is called density of the liquid what is g g is the gravity at that place and what is h depth of the point suppose that we have to find out the pressure at this point a so the pressure at this point will depend on three factors number one density of the liquid number two gravity at this place and number three the depth of the point from the free surface of the liquid this is the height or depth of the point so on what factor does the pressure in liquid depends on three factors density of the liquid gravity at that place and the depth of the point so what is the formula of the pressure inside the liquid so pressure is equal to density of liquid into gravity into height so p is equal to rho g h learn this formula and the factor on which the pressure depends the rho it is written rho is pronounced r h o rho and it is a greek letter used for density so see the formula of pressure p is equal to rho g h learn this formula and these are the three factor on which the pressure of the liquid depends then inside the liquid the pressure in all the direction will be same let's see suppose that this, this fish is stationary in a liquid for a moment then in all the direction the pressure exerting on the body of this fish will be same so pressure in a liquid x equally in all direction as long as liquid is not moving or the body is not moving so pressure on a body inside the liquid in all the direction will be same next now how the pressure of the liquid increases on increasing the depth we know very well p is equal to rho g h if the depth of the point increased then the pressure increased see these are three holes on a tank we we may see that on the top most the water is coming out and reaching at the less distance from the bottom of the beaker in this rather more and in this the furthest why because as we move down to the 
water level the pressure increases this pressure means throw the water at the longer distance so low pressure jet and high pressure jet so this is the reason as we move down in the liquid we experience more and more pressure because of this the dam base ya yeah, base of the dam you must have seen dam which are made on the river so the base of the dam are made broader at the base why because as we move under the water the pressure increases that is why the base of the dam are made broader see the foundation of the buildings and dams important dams are laid on a larger area to produce less pressure means at the bottom of the dam the pressure of the liquid is high that is why the base of the dam are made broader learn it next is atmospheric pressure as the pressure we experience in liquid similar pressure we experience in atmosphere so atmospheric pressure what is atmospheric pressure first of all you should learn there is an envelope of air envelope means surrounding the envelope of air that surrounds the earth we call it atmosphere so simple what is atmosphere the envelope of air which surrounds the earth known as atmosphere so learn from here to here this is the definition of atmosphere the atmosphere is bound to the earth why the gases or air are bound to the earth because of gravitational attraction of the earth we have studied gravitational force newton gravitational force due to that the atmosphere of earth present now this atmosphere of air around us produces pressure because gases are there they have some weight that is why or other levels due to the weight of why this pressure exerted this atmosphere of air around us produces pressure at the ground level or other level due to the weight of the air above the level because the air have some weight due to that weight we experience atmospheric pressure next is how the atmospheric pressure varies as we move at the height above the earth surface so this is the graph on y axis this is the pressure and on x it is high as we move away from the earth surface the pressure decreases atmospheric pressure decreases with the height above the earth surface that is why if we reach at the tall building or the mountain the atmospheric pressure become low because of that nose starts bleeding so it is written practical observation bleeding of mountaineers bleeding means nodes bleeding they are actually talking about what will happen if astronauts do not wear the space suit their nose will starts bleeding that is why they used to wear special suits next is pascal law important and very easy what do you mean by the pascal law first of all we have to understand these are two pistons having different area of cross section this area of cross section is a and this area of cross section is a in and a out actually we are applying the force in and it is getting out the force what pressure uh, what force is applied here that is f in and f out so what happens actually according to the pascal law an external pressure applied to an enclosed fluid is transmitted uniformly throughout the volume of the liquid means whether we apply the pressure here or force here or here the force will be equally div divided in all part of the liquid so what is the relation they obtain they obtain f in upon a in is equal to f out upon a out or in simple you may say f1 upon a1 is equal to f2 upon a2 this is pascal law learn this pascal law draw this diagram and write this equation yeah you may say f1 upon a1 is equal to f2 upon a2 learn this is pascal pascal law pressure in is equal to pressure out let's see the numerical on this pascal law the smaller and the larger piston of a hydraulic pressure see what are the application machine of pascal law hydraulic machine hydraulic jacks and hydraulic brakes these are the three examples on which uh, which works on the pascal law have diameter of suppose that this is a1 sorry it is diameter d1 4 cm and 12 cm it is d1 it is d2 
what input force is required to lift 4000 newton of weight input it is actually f in with the output piston so see F in upon A in is equal to F out upon F A A out. What do we have to find out? F in. So F in is equal to F out into A in upon A out. So see, R radius is equal to diameter upon 2 and area is equal to A R square. So directly we have put the value F in is equal to 4000 Newton into what is area A in. Area is equal to pi R square. So pi R A in is what? That is 4 divided by 2 that is 2 centimeter square divided by a out a out what pi r square pi half of the 12 that is 6 square why we have put this uh, centimeter we have not changed in meter because in numerator and denominator both have the centimeter so there is no need to convert into meter on solving we got that f is equal to 444 newton so this is the solution or a simple numerical problem on pascal law next is Name of the machine which works on the Pascal law, number one hydraulic machines. Pascal principle enables a small force to be multiplied into a larger force. This principle of the transmission of pressure in liquid is made used in hydraulic machines. So what hydraulic machines are there? Hydraulic lift. Okay. Second is hydraulic brake system. Nowadays in all the vehicles we have hydraulic brake system.